And good morning from Scotty Ray and Candace as we begin the day before Thanksgiving. Yes, Thanksgiving Eve. So turkey's all lined out, unthawed, and ready? Not at my house. <laughs> you don't, I No, have, we're not doing a big turkey dinner and all that. Y'all not having turkey? That's like un-American. We're, we're going to have steak on the grill. That's whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you can't do that. We are. We're doing it this year. We but are. We're doing untraditional. I mean, at Christmas, though, it's, all, it's on at Christmas. I'm though. hurt. I'm, I'm like, have everything. It's just like not eating apple pie or Chevrolet <laughs> or... <laughs> well... I don't Not know. that steak isn't good. Well, I just didn't want to go through doing the whole big spill of the Thanksgiving meal when we weren't going to have everybody over. So, you know, newlywed burning off, y'all. No, I, look, I'm the I'm the one that goes all out like the Martha Stewart type layout, but we're just not going to do it for Thanksgiving this year. I, it's just with the virus. I mean, everybody's kind of a little on the edge. In two no. years, they'll be eating in somebody else's house or should be throwing a ham sandwich at him. <laughs> we'll be doing potluck. Bring you on. Um, but no, I would, but we decided against it for Thanksgiving. So at Christmas, though, I am going to do the dressing and There's ham. Just, and you know, only get to fixings. three times a year you get a great meal. That's Easter, Thanksgiving, and then at Christmas. Well, you know, we had started um, several years back, started doing something different at Christmas because at Thanksgiving we'd always do turkey and dress and everything. So nobody wanted it again that soon. So, um, which, not, I mean, I could eat dressing all the time. I love it, um, obviously. I didn't say that. <laughs> but anyway, um, so we started doing a, like, brunch and just having, like, a breakfast at Christmas on Christmas morning. Right. And um, anyway. Well, okay. look, all I got to say is there's there's two things that have to show up. I, mm -hmm. I, I really like pecan pie. I, mm -hmm. I like that. But I could get by, but banana pudding is a must. Mm -hmm. And then uh, what is that husband's delight stuff? Oh, yeah. I call it Texas delight. Have mercy. Where it's got the crust on the bottom of yeah, the Yeah, and the chocolate, chocolate and it. something else. Uh -huh. It's got, um, I think it's got cream cheese and Cool Whip in it. I don't know, but it's I'll good. lick the bowl on mm -hmm. that. That is good. And look, I love when people make a cake and it's yellow icing and I can take them, you know, where you lick the bowl. Oh, good yeah. Gosh With the my. raw eggs. Yeah. I don't, what is it about that is so good? <laughs> I don't know, but it is good. My kids always love the little the beaters. Batter. Yeah, yeah, we used to yeah. lick them. Yeah, they'd always be in there waiting for me to take them off the mixer. But um, I'm going to try something new this year. I found a recipe for butter pecan fudge. So... I'm going to try it. Yeah, we keep hearing about this kitchen with uh, Candace, and I we know. ain't seen it yet. Look, yeah, you just don't know. I don't I don't have time to do a whole lot. But this week, I'm off for the rest of the week, so I'm going to do a little bit of bacon, I think. Go ahead. Okay. I just noticed you got a big blue shirt on. I do. I got a blue or is on. that purple? It's blue. It's just blue, okay. like a royal, I don't know what you call it, blue. In between a blue and it's a purple. It's pretty color, It's though. the indigo. Indigo. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Quit using words I don't know. <laughs> Well, as we get this day started, let me uh, cover this because there, there is some possibility of some bad weather today, um, primarily here in the Meridian area from 11 until uh, from noon until five o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> now, let me pull this up. There are some severe thunderstorm warnings that have already happened. Uh, of course, our weather brought to you by EMEPA. As we turn to this, as you'll see this line of showers that's coming in from the west from Jackson, uh, right now there's a severe thunderstorm warning that has uh, been listed and it's until 9 o'clock this morning. That includes Simpson, Smith, Covington, and Jefferson County. Uh, radar picked it up. has 60-mile-an-hour gust. And although that's not here right now, that's going to come right across and affect uh, Jasper, and it'll get areas of Clark and Lauderdale County once it makes it here. Mm -hmm. Now, it almost looks as this storm is moving a little bit faster than they originally projected. Uh, if so, we'll break in and give you live updates of this as it happens today. Uh, nothing worse than bad weather, and you want to know who, what, and how. I know. And, and bad the, weather at night, that always, I hate that. I know. You can't see what's going on, Ooh. you know. And uh, it'll sneak up on you. It's, if you could see, you feel better. Yeah. And but it does make us feel better when we got Scotty Ray to, well, to let us you. know what's going on, especially when you can't see. So this okay. area right here, McGee, Mize, mm -hmm. Mount Olive, those areas, y'all just Taylorsville, y'all be ready for what's going on there. Mm -hmm. Now, again, uh, I've seen a lot worse in the past, mm -hmm. uh, but we could get a severe thunderstorm warning out of this and some heavy rain. So uh, just a, a heads up as to what's coming. Uh, could be a, a whole lot worse, as I mentioned. Yeah. Let's hope not. Let's, let's pray it's just a little storm that moves very quick. I know. No damage. So, uh, uh, are you going, uh, hey, Ken Buffington, good morning there. Hey, Ken, how are you? Yeah, you know Ken, don't you? It, uh, so, Black Friday, are you, are you often headed Black Friday and Friday morning, or are you uh, doing all online? Normally, 
Uh, we talked about that this morning, actually, but normally I do not do Black Friday shopping because I just don't want to get fight out. People? I don't want to get out in it. I don't like the crowds and fighting and standing in line forever. Um, but I'm scared that if we order online that we're not going to get it. No, that's very I'm possible. I'm just scared that, you know, it'll be like the major things you really need for Christmas and then you don't get it. And when the, you do. You know, here's the sad part. There was only one thing that I ever really loved doing, mm-hmm. and that was Craftsman Tools. Mm-hmm. And now it's gone. Sears ain't there no more. Can't you get them elsewhere? Yeah, but it ain't the same. It, they oh, yeah, they had a whole section. Yeah, the and it, yeah. Uh, you know, Lowe's has got a little bit, and uh-huh. Ace's got a little bit, but it's not Yeah. It's not all those craftsman tools that I stood there and drooled over. I just <laughs> love a tool. My mother has, and they have several of the Milwaukee. Yeah, that's a good brand. She's got a like a, a blower. And that thing <laughs> blow the paint off the wall. Is it electric, that new thing? It is. It is an electric one. I, I told Kurt I need one because I'm constantly, I have a little Black & Decker yeah. chargeable one, you know, and it lasts about not even 10 minutes. I mean, it doesn't last long. you got to get it done quick. But um, that one lasts forever, and it is powerful, I'm telling you. Well, and, and I'll say this from experience, and you know how you endorse things. I uh-huh. will endorse this. Don't go buy no other brand because I've had those Polands, and I, it ain't worth uh-huh. the... If you're going to buy a, a blower, get a steel. It'll be oh, weed yeah. for 25 years. We have years. one of those, too, and it is a, it's a gas-powered one. Yeah, if you end, get gas, that is absolutely the best thing to own. That's right. Bar none. And so. weed eaters, too. Yeah. Yes, we got a steel weed eater. I bought, years ago, I went and bought a, um, a zero-turn lawnmower and a steel weed eater all at the same time because I was doing my own yard work. Yeah. And, I mean, I bought this attachment, but they are heavy. But, ladies, if you doing your own yard work, just... Invest in a steel because I mean I'm I had a uh, I had to go buy another new one. I, I had a steel that I'd had for about six years, ran great until I stopped at the store and got a drink. Then I got home and realized that somebody liked it a whole lot more than I oh, did. Oh, that would make you sick. <laughs> mm. But uh, yeah. well worth it. Well worth it. Mm-hmm. Well, this is uh, November the 25th. As we said, we're getting a whole lot closer to the holidays. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a chance of some bad weather on Friday, but not really for our area. We're going to have rain. And again, I cannot stress about cold weather that is coming next week. Highs mm-hmm. are going to be in the 50s, and then nighttime lows, 20s and 30s yeah. all week. So it's it's we're going from one extreme to the other. I know. Have you got a winter jacket? I'm I do. worried about you. I do have a winter jacket. I do. I'm not going to get out in it if it's freezing, freezing cold. Now, I love <laughs> some cool weather and, and stuff like that and sitting around a fire outside, but, you know, I ain't going to be out in it if I don't have to. I'll just I'm, sit in front of my gas logs. And, you know, like whatever. the other day, I, I made that decision of, hey, I should go hunting and check it out, and uh-huh. I wore just a light coat, and there at uh, dark 30, I was like, <laughs> hmm, this is yeah. dumb. <laughs> when your no- toes start getting numb in the shoes. Well, yeah. You need to say happy birthday to somebody there. Okay, um... Carson. Yeah. Ken Buffington's son, Carson. Happy birthday. He's six years old today. Wow. And a good morning to uh, Sissy McKee up in Kemper County this mm-hmm. morning listening in to us. Uh, I had a question about tornadoes likely, are they likely this afternoon in Clark County? Mm-hmm. Uh, is there a chance? Yes. Looking at the line, uh, I, I don't see that right now. I see mm-hmm. some thunderstorm warnings. I don't think it's going to bump into that. There's always a possibility because it's Mother Nature. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't rate it really high on the chart of something bad like that happening. Um, yeah. You know, is when you pull up radar, the, the, the colors on radar just aren't indicating that it's that bad at this point. Yeah. But I'll be here should that happen. But uh, I, I wouldn't bet the farm on it at this point, as mm-hmm. the old saying goes. Yeah. So uh, let's see here. News stories and things that are going on. I wanted to bring this up. Um, yeah, let me find it a second. You know how you miss the, the Grammys uh, it, this was what it was about. And okay. uh, this was almost, if I read the story right, let me, f- I was just going to show the headlines of it. Right? Here it is. Let me show this. Now, this comes from Daily Mail. Uh, the weekend, uh, it, I, I've never heard of anybody that calls himself the weekend to, be, to begin with, mm-hmm. but apparently that's his name. And he's saying that the Grammys are corrupt and demands industry transparency after he was snubbed at the nominations. Is he just mad because they didn't give him one? I don't know if the guy's good or not. But I've it, never even heard of him. I mean, have we gotten to the age <laughs> if you don't win, you throw a temper tantrum well, you until know, they give you an award? That started a long time ago, Scotty Ray, when when you no longer had to really try out and you just were on the team and everybody got a trophy. Yeah, and you know. So, so. is that what this is? You think? I mean, it sounds like it to me. I mean, it sounds like he just 
you know, stomping his little foot. And it looked like he way. said the, the wrong thing to somebody. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the, the bandages are all about there, but. Uh, yeah, I've, I've never heard of the weekend other than Friday and Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> And you know, this little news story that's down here, I hadn't checked up on it, but uh, Lori that was on um, Full House, uh-huh. <clears throat> of course, she's in jail now, yeah. doing her time, and somebody said she was living off jelly beans and something. She's in there for two months. I mean, come on. Yeah, I'm, I'm mm-hmm. sure she's really having it hard. You know? And mm-hmm. she's having to share a sale with two mm-hmm. other people. Ooh. She might be doing a little online shopping tomorrow. I mean, come Half on. a million dollars to bribe to get your kid into school. Yeah. I mean, there's probably a lot of that that goes on. Oh, we don't You know, that we don't even know. Everywhere in America. She just happened to get caught doing it, you know. Yeah, she got busted, didn't Mm -hmm. she? She did. uh, And uh, good morning to Jeremy Pugh uh, for uh, listening in this morning also. do appreciate that. Let's see here. Uh, New stories that that are about, let's pull this up. Some days I can't get my ducks in a row, can I? (laughs) Mm -hmm. Look, that's me every day, Scotty Ray. Every every day. It happens. I mean, it's like I get to work and I'm... Crazy. Have you ever seen this in your rearview mirror? Uh, no. Oh, come on now. You've bound to got a speeding ticket at some point I, in your life. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. You have to knock on wood. I'm knocking on this wood, but I'm telling you, um, I have passed a few going a little too fast, and I like slam on my brake. <laughs> I know they see my brake lights in their rearview mirror. You know, I'm surprised they hadn't come after me, but not so far. I guess the, the only bad time I was uh, back when I was in radio, I was <laughs> late one morning. It was... 4.30, uh-huh. I was going to work. Yeah. And I guess he was behind me about a mile and a half or so before I finally figured out. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't well, real happy when he got to my window. I bet not. Goodness. No, I've gotten a couple of warnings, but I haven't gotten a ticket. Yeah, not or I've going got the little lights flashed on, like yeah. slow it down system. <laughs> the older that I've gotten, the, the slower I go. And I have not gotten to the 30 mile an hour drive in front of you and uh, you can't pass me mode. Uh-huh. But Look, yeah, and last night we were behind somebody that every time they pass, you, Kurt was like, I know this has to be <laughs> an older person that can't see at night. I said, I can't see at night. I mean, I'm like, w- the lights blind me when I, know. I pass a car. Like. You pull up to Highway 19 where uh-huh. Chandler Road's there. Chandler Road is. You could go right to go to Collins or left to go to Walmart. Uh-huh. I have to really pay attention at night there where those cars are, the distance now. Yes, yes. So y'all be careful. And two, today, right now outside, the roads are so slick. They because are. we have not had any rain lately. And now, you know, just a little bit makes them slick. So now, the Highway Patrol is going to be extra busy from mm-hmm. today through Sunday night. Mm-hmm. So don't speed. It, it ain't... The, the 10 miles or 15 miles an hour that you're run, running over won't put you there, but maybe five minutes faster. So it, yeah. it just really, you know, it ain't worth getting a ticket running your insurance. Look, and I, I am nervous driving that big SUV now when the roads are slick. Yeah, I, I feel you. like I, it's so heavy. You know, you can just, it's such a big vehicle, and I just feel like I'm going to fly off the road if I. Well, they do catch fast. wind a little bit more. Yeah, they do. They do. So uh, keep that in mind as, uh, as you're doing that. Let's take a minute and, and talk about Buffington Mobile Homes. So let me pull this up here. Buffington Mobile Homes, a great place to go if you're looking for a home. And I thought we'd do another uh, tour here of, of a home uh, that is out there that you can buy. And, and uh, where did it go? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> it, uh, it's missing. I don't know what I've done with it. Yeah, I'll have to find that in just a second here. So... It's very nice, though. When he does find it, we're going to show it to you. Yeah, here Super we go. Nice. I've got it now. Let's uh, let's pull this up and walk through a home of what mm-hmm. you can get here. This is inside a home. And, again, mm-hmm. if you've put off buying a new home and just you say, well, I can't afford it, talk to them. They can get your, your notes and your interest rate really down. It's the country mm-hmm. lot where you save a lot. 30 minutes from Meridian at Buffington Mobile Homes. As you go here through the kitchen, as you, as you look, look how good that looks. Mm-hmm. Now, that's where it got a bar where you can sit there and sit at the bar mm-hmm. and – I guess you can get yeah, you can hand the food over the top. They got electrical. That is handy. It is handy when you're trying to mix something or um, yeah. blend something. Got right your uh, dishwasher there, and as you turn mm-hmm. over here, your stove and all your cabinets and microwaves and refrigerator. And as you go down the hall here, uh, let's go down here and I take a look. I love those floors too. Yeah, They're so nice. And uh, of course, a closet there. And as you go into the to the bathroom here, let's see what we got in here. Ooh, it's always a mystery. Oh, look walk-in uh, shower there yes and i mean look at the detail in these homes that yeah. they have now the crown molding and the doors you know now you I mean, can even so change nice. the horse picture out if you don't like that yeah. if you're not in the horses like staring it. at you in the morning yeah <laughs> let's go down the other end of the hall here and see what we yeah, got i love here. all the 
the de- decor and the stuff on the walls yeah. and the furniture and everything. And of course, your living things. room area mm-hmm. here to where you got your TV on the wall. And more horses. This is like the horse theme here at uh, Buffington Mobile Homes. And you've got several bedrooms here. You've got one here for the kids. Uh, let's see, a uh, bathroom here in the hallway. Mm-hmm. And then a, uh, a rear so put that in a nice closet. Yeah. Again, yeah. So see them Brilliant. today. Talk to them about a home that would uh, best suit you. Uh, again, Buffington Mobile Homes, it is a short, short drive out to uh, Decatur. Uh, they can teach you so much, show you, uh, you they can order for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, interest rates as low as 5.34, I believe. Uh, they can include your land, your home. Uh, mm-hmm. See Mike, he'll tell you more. He can tell you that he's a great salesman and get you into what you're looking for. So there you go. Go see them. Not a bad idea, is it? No, it's not. Those are super nice. Now, as uh, we go back to some news stories uh, that are happening, you remember the guy that broke the Hunter Biden story? Yes. Uh, The computer shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He has called all kind of craziness, hasn't he? Yeah, and he is closed now. Mm -hmm. Uh, He's got a sign on the, uh, the door that says closed, and his neighbor says he ain't nowhere to be seen, and it looks like he's left town due to folks threatening him. Mm hmm. That's, I mean, you know, you can't even, like, try to tell the truth without yeah, without getting stoned. I mean, you know, well, like you, people trying to get you. Well, the, the lady that done what you done for a living, the hairdresser uh, oh, in yeah. San Francisco. Yeah. She, she had to close her place. Yeah. The one that had Pelosi in there. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, she's the one who caught all kind of craziness because it was aired that Pelosi was in there. Now, who was the, the one at fault? Right. <laughs> you know. But uh, I think she really came out to the good, though, if I'm not mistaken. Because I think that somebody a started GoFundMe. a GoFundMe thing, and I think she had enough money to where she relocated and, oh, okay. and all that. She moved away from there. So Well, that's a good outcome to that. Yeah. But, you know, we live in a time to where wrong is right and right is wrong. Does that Did, did I say that right? Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, everything's backwards right now. Everything's so crazy. And, um, you know, I just don't understand. I don't, I don't know. Um there was a quote yesterday, I think, on Facebook, and it was, um, like, the people who hate America, everybody's for them now. Yeah. Know? And the people who tried to, to love America and try to do is their people are against them, you know. It, it makes no sense to me. I just, <clears throat> I don't understand it, you know. I, I, try, I truly do try to see both sides of things, and I don't always understand. Yeah, and I don't always agree, obviously, because I voice my opinion a good bit. No, you know? not you. <laughs> but, um... I just want good things for the country and the people in the country. I mean, and I don't understand how some people think that some of this craziness is good for the country. It is not. And the things that people think they were promised, I think it's going to be a rude awakening. Um, I hope things are on the up and up, and I hope things. You know that old saying, if it sounds too good to be true? Oh, yeah, it probably is. is, You know, yeah, right. Y'all keep that in mind. Like, if you see an ad for a $20,000 car listed for $800, well, yeah, and some of these groups who backed Biden and, you know, caused so much chaos, um, they are now wanting what is, you know, promised to them. Their Correct. voice and their opinion. They're like, okay, what, what you going to do, do for us for now? We'll, you and said we'll this, see we voted that... for you, now we're waiting on ours, you know. So that's going to be, I mean, they've already started giving the man, you know, grief. So yeah, He won't be there long. <laughs> we um, all know that. Mm-hmm. And speaking of him, he's uh, he's in the news today. One of the big things that's coming out of the administration that they're saying they will do is he's going to welcome lots of refugees. Mm -hmm. So uh, where the border wall will go, we don't know. But it sounds like they're going to cut a hole in it. Yeah, it sounds like it. Now, let me me give you an example here. Say you worked at company XYZ for 20 years. Mm -hmm. And do you remember the scene from Clark uh, Griswold? Oh, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> where Uncle Ed, uh, Cousin Eddie is over, and he uh-huh. opens up his Christmas bonus. And he thinks he's going to get his swimming pool paid yeah. for and everything that he's, you know. And what and do you he get? the jelly of the month club. Yeah. Now, there's a company that really feels like that this morning. Can, mm-hmm. I, this is just shocking. Amazon, they give their workers a $10 voucher towards a turkey. But what, and what would that buy, Scotty Ray? Like nothing. A turkey wing? I mean, That's know. about it. Okay, hey, y'all, sit down with the dressing and get your wing. But it was yeah. a slap in the face it's because new late. workers that they hired, they gave them a $3,000 signing bonus to come aboard at Amazon during the Christmas holidays to get them through this. So mm. what are you saying to your people who've been with you through it all, through the okay. pandemic, who've been getting sick? And 
They got to work. That'd be yeah. like a slap right in the face, don't you think? Ten bucks. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. that's like Scrooge. And as we all know, he's the Awful. richest man in America now. Mm. Goodness. Wow. Sometimes the richest people are the, the I know. And I know, tightest. Like, I know company-wide, you know, ten dollars adds up to as many employees he's got. But his kind of level, right? If you that's can, nothing. If you can give three thousand dollars, you know, yeah. to new people, why can't you just give it to everybody? That's what I'm talking. Or about. Or give them ten dollar voucher and give the. <laughs> And, you know, this backwards, what we just say? Everything's backwards. This goes back to what we were just saying there. Back in the day during the 50s and 60s, you really couldn't where the wife stayed at home because mm-hmm. the family could survive off minimum wage because things were higher. Mm-hmm. What has happened through the years is greed. Profits yeah. have to be more. They pay employees less, and their profit margin has to be higher and higher and higher, and it's not passed on. Right. And I know that they're talking about in this next administration, if it goes into effect, um, that they're going to you know, lift the minimum wages at, what, to $15, $14, or something like that? And that right. sounds super great. I mean, it really sounds good. Until the other people. prices go up. And well, you the, hadn't... well, the thing is, all these people who, especially like smaller businesses, who are still trying to recover. Correct. Okay, how are they going to pay employees a double of what they've been paying them? That's right. You know, can. and can stay in business. I mean, people are still trying to get their head above water, so... I'm thinking it's going to make some businesses either close or they're going to eliminate some positions. It you know, very so well. I don't know. I just don't see it being a good thing. Your your major corporations would have to take a a, mm-hmm. a lot less profit margin for it to ever work. Yeah, I, I don't know how that's going to work out. Yeah. So that's that's where we are on that at this point. Mm-hmm. As uh, we move to our next story this morning, uh, people just really did not pay attention to Fauci. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. People are, you know, traveling everywhere. Yeah. Same. Over 4 million, and I forget the breakdown of how many people are driving. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. And he says 43,000 people are going to die between now and the end of the year because of this. I don't know whether it's true. Well, I mean, if you think about being closed up in an airplane and that air is just circulating through the cabin, you know, that would kind of be nervous. It made me nervous. You know, I don't know that I'd want to fly right now, but. People yeah. are doing it. I mean, I know. I, I want to down the airlines. I know they're still trying to pick their business up, too. So, And we don't know about this disease. <laughs> we and, don't. And I guess they're still saying that if you catch it once, you can't catch it again? Or is that uh, out the window well, now? I think it's out the window because I know I've heard of people who have gotten it again. I know they try to put a time limit on it. Like, oh, if you've got it within 90 days, you're not supposed to be able to get it again. But I don't know. I think it just depends. And I think there's more than one strain of this thing going around. Oh, it's very I mean, I don't see just one strain causing all of these different kind of um, um, symptoms. You know what I'm saying? So, And I did hear on the way over here that the vaccines, um, Pfizer is saying that there's two, and you have to take two shots. It's not just a one, it's not just a one shot. Vaccine. Do you do it at the same time or no, one I don't and think then so. one later? Yeah, it's one and one later. And they're saying the first shot possibly could make you feel really bad for a few days. And so they're worried that people won't get the second shot. And if you don't get the second shot, it's not going to do you any good. So they're worried about that. And that, that was with Pfizer and I think Moderna, yeah. the other company. They were saying maybe they didn't have as many side effects with theirs. But they said that you can't take one of Pfizer and the second of Moderna. But and, you it know, has to be the in same. the big picture, we have never really perfected the flu shot. No, and they have to do it over every year, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. You know, and sometimes they hit the mark, and sometimes they don't. I, I don't know. I'm not a flu shot taker. I've never taken the flu shot. I know everybody says that it's a great thing to do. Um, I haven't taken it because I've just got mixed. I did once, it. and I got a shot, and I got sick as a dog that year, and I ain't doing it well, again. Well, that's why I've, I haven't taken it. You know, but. Now, you, some people will argue with over that point and just uh, yeah, say, oh, it's, but uh, I'm doing okay on my own. Yeah. But, I've, uh, I've gotten the flu a total in my whole life of three times. And I'm a, I'm not counting this last time in January that I got sick because I'm not for sure 100% I didn't have this virus. You're right. Because nobody was testing for it. And I tested negative for flu and strep. But, but I was so, sick. so sick. So yeah, I don't know. You know. But anyway. But uh, our next news story is, uh, if you've done something bad in your life and you knew that it was about over, would you go ahead and confess to it? Uh, this is what this guy done. 
Uh, a murderer in Alabama confesses to killing a young lady in 1995, mm -hmm. and he's dying of lung cancer, and he called up the police and said, hey, guess what I did? Mm -hmm. So he's in the jailhouse now. His name is Johnny? Johnny Dwight. Dwight. Yeah, I left a T off. Okay. Yeah. Miss Proofreader, where were you? When and he's from, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Scotty Ray. Oh. But he's, uh, he's from Alabama, and... Uh, that uh, mm. at least the family is going to get some closure of what he done. Yeah, I mean that's a good thing because you know you, people wonder sometimes for years. Yeah, of what happened, and uh, yeah, so our our thoughts with them. Mm -hmm. uh, we had somebody mention the double minimum wage, the double the prices, and, uh -huh. and that yeah, is that, true. That will, I'm sure. Uh, the airline is uh, filtered and purified every three hours. I did not know that. I didn't know that either. Thank you, William. So well, for telling us that. Yeah. Um, it still makes me nervous, though. I don't know that I want to make. Because <laughs> you know, William, I'm germaphobe lady. So. So, you know, the, the weird thing about that was Trump was the biggest germaphobe before he went in office. And he, you think about what he had to do to start shaking hands. Mm -hmm. Now, I've slacked, I'm not slacked off on the disinfecting and stuff at work, but I've gotten a little bit, I guess I've just gotten myself conditioned to it, you know, to where I'm not freaking out about it so much. But at first, I was like, if I get sick, I ain't doing this no more. <laughs> <laughs> but um anyway so far so good but yeah all right our buddy uh is back in the uh the news once again and i'm not picking on this guy he just seems to be making headlines here lately mm -hmm. uh the pope in a book interview that he gave he really praised people who were out uh for the george floyd protest he praised mm -hmm. them and then when it comes for the people that hit the streets that said okay this lockdown is not right he criticized them. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not. I'm not sure that that was right. Mm -hmm. I guess that's his decision. The Pope just seems sometimes to be on the opposite side of the way. I think from time to time. Well, like I said yesterday, I think that um, you know, I just think you shouldn't bring stuff like that into church. Yeah, type stuff. I think you should keep stuff like that separate. And of course, you know, he gonna... was the one that was talking about the border wall was wrong, but yet he lives behind the walls of the Vatican mm -hmm. that you cannot get in. Right. Yeah, that's kind of like the, the, the skillet thing, calling the kettle black. What's that old saying? The pot calling the kettle black. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the same difference there. Yeah. Our next news story, and I looked it up, and I, and I hate that I didn't save the picture, but when this girl was young, mm -hmm. she is the old saying, she was smoking hot. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that she was a model in her early years. Yeah, but I didn't either. I'm talking Martha Stewart, Miss Snoop Dogg. Uh-huh. <laughs> that is the craziest combination it's a cooking show right i've never watched it. I, yeah i guess so it's, it's a whatever show because i know she pots plants and he smokes pot <laughs> he does <laughs> and i'm not look don't get on me for saying that because that's just i'm stating a fact i mean he puts it out there every time i've ever seen him on anything what was his name in starkey starkey and hutch uh, movie uh puffy bear or something huggy bear huggy uh, bear that was his name in that mm -hmm. show but anyway yeah i didn't realize she was a model but she, I mean. this picture here that's turned into a, and there's a term for it for being sexy at her age. Mm -hmm. And anyway, she was going to take, she said, a picture of a potted plant when she was in her pool. Mm -hmm. And she snapped the picture and the camera was turned the wrong way. And she goes, oh, that looks cute. And she posted it. And it's just went viral everywhere of her picture there. Mm -hmm. I mean, either, I mean, I don't know who, of course, I do wear makeup all the time, but I don't know who would put on their the makeup and pose like that. I mean, she must have really been concentrating on taking a picture of the but plant. But to me, that's not really <laughs> sexy. Not To me, it's not. Yeah. That, that well, just I don't doesn't... think all these these selfies that people do with their lips puckered up yeah. and all that, man. I mean, all that. that you look ridiculous. Yeah, I'm I sorry. could find something a whole lot better <laughs> that, that, that I would consider to be mm -hmm. sexier than that. That's, that's not it for me. And like young girls that stick their tongue out in pictures. Have you seen that? No, I've missed that one. Well, I'm not going to demonstrate for you, but it's ridiculous. It don't look good. So it ain't cute. What's the purpose behind it? I don't know. I don't know if it's just, you know, people that do their lips up and stick their tongue out. I'm sorry. It ain't looking good. <laughs> Let's Thank take a minute it. and talk about <laughs> graphics guru. Now, if you're looking for a, a great way to make your business look better, they do this. Even getting yourself some business cards. Do you need any of them? Well, they've got those. They can make banners. They can hang out for your graduates. This is just a, uh, a business across their counter where they fix that up. Sticks mm -hmm. out, doesn't it? It does. It looks good. Zane can fix that up for you if you're looking this for your truck. A Roman <laughs> billboard is what they call that. Of course, David Moon done that. Camper Kingdom. Just one That's of really tons nice. and tons of people mm -hmm. who have done it. 
Uh, we've shown the pictures here of what you can do to your trucks to have them lettered up with the name of your company and your DOT numbers along with any ornament that you want put on your hood. You can do the entire truck. To the folks that, uh, here that done snow biz, that's a, that's a game changer there. Mm -hmm. uh, I got to see a bunch of the carnival rides that they were working on also. Oh, okay. That yeah. uh, takes a long time to do that. I, 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 I would not be able to do it. I, know, I would imagine it, it does. That's but, uh, you know, as this is, would be a normal trailer without this, but Magnolia mm -hmm. Beverage has got that. It jumps out at you. Mm -hmm. and of course, Yates, if you've got, if you're doing work on a job site, you want to stick out. And including the, the coffee shop there, Jumpstart Coffee, they've mm -hmm. got that. One of the many things from uh, taking care of all of this here to getting your uh, business cards done is Graphics Guru, again, on B Street. Drop mm -hmm. in and see Zane. He'll help you any way he can uh, to get you taken care of. See him today. During these challenging times, there are some things that you can count on every day. One of them is that Rick Justice Automotive will work hard to help you find just the right vehicle. Rick Justice has late model, low mileage vehicles and 72 months, 72,000 mile warranties available on all vehicles. Come see us today and we'll show you how we've been helping your friends and relatives find the car, truck or SUV that was right for them. We will earn your business. Sanders Gas, Sanders Air and Heat is your full service propane supplier since 1946. We take pride in ensuring reliable, friendly service to our customers. We also provide safety tune-ups related to propane, air conditioning and heating systems, keeping our community efficient and safe. I'm Chuck Sanders and yes, we're local. Well, uh, as I mentioned, you might want to go ahead and call Chuck and get in line to get you some, uh, some gas uh, for next week if yours is not already lined up and ready to go. Mm -hmm. Let's take a, a quick peek back at uh, radar now to see what's going on. As we look out to our west, uh, showers now have entered uh, Newton County, some thunderstorm activity there. They're on the, the west side of the county. You've got Newton here, and this is going to be right over here. And let's turn on our location so we can see uh, what all is affected by this. Uh, getting close uh, to the uh, post office there in Lawrence, it hadn't quite gotten there yet. As you look at the county there, all up through here, it has reached, uh, if you're going to be around Kona Hatta there at the post office, a lot of rain coming down there. Light showers reaching uh, right on the outskirts of uh, uh, the campus there at East Central. Uh, as we look at this, Montrose, uh, you've got showers within probably the next 30 minutes. Now, we don't have any thunderstorm warnings or anything like that yet, mm -hmm. but uh, stay tuned. We're going to get some. But if you look at the big picture of this, when this blows through, there's nothing behind it. Mm -hmm. So it'll be kind of quick, over and done with before you know it. Good. And uh, So that's uh, the great news with that. Yeah. I can handle rain. It's just the tornadoes, possible you know, tornadoes and stuff like that that make me nervous. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, if you've got kids up at Starkville, uh, we've got a little bit, of, uh, little bit of rain there also. But, uh, again, I'll be here through, should it continue past uh, 5 o'clock, whatever, I'll still be here to, to let you know all about that. Okay. Um, what do we need to, what are we forgetting about Thanksgiving, anything that needs to be done? No, just everybody, you know, if you do get together, just try to take as much precaution as you can, hand washing. And I don't know who would wear masks. They, you know, possibility that people might wear masks at home with their families. But um, I don't know. I said at Christmas, though, we're having our Christmas get together. <laughs> if we have to all be in like full the white jumpsuits, the white jumpsuits. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. I don't That's guess fine. anybody's done any family portraits with the mask yet, have they? I don't know. I've seen some cheer pictures, like of squads. You yeah. know, it, you know, cute old things where they had their mask on. But um, I don't know. I thought about that the other day because I've been wanting to get a family picture made. You know, of everybody, but I can't get everybody together because they're scattered everywhere. Right. You know, we got one in New Mexico, one in Starkville. You know. So hopefully at Christmas we can get everybody together. And sounds like a Zoom Christmas. It does. <laughs> I hope not, but I hope we're not all locked down or anything. I hope you know, so too. So. Let's just pray. All right. Well, we wish you a happy Thanksgiving. I'll be here in the morning with uh, with weather. You'll have the day off to uh, enjoy some turkey cookings, uh, but no steak cooking up at your home. Let me correct that. Y'all have a good time eating your desserts. Yeah. And think about Scotty Ray eating his banana pudding. Got to have it. Got to have it. <laughs> and again, thank you all for dropping by and spending a few moments with us here at uh, Scotty Ray's Weather with Scotty Ray and Candace. Thanks a bunch. Scotty Ray's Weather is brought to you by... 